All right, hello friends. Welcome to a uh, full support on uh, the Necromundus from uh, Heroes Infinite October release. Gonna use this just as a, an example to explain to you why we're using the uh, Lychee now, why we switched away from G2 Box, and um, also just kind of give you a brief overview of how to use it, um, give you an idea of what it's like to support a model like this. Um, it it really is just an incredibly flexible tool. Uh, the Lychee development team has been amazing. Uh, they've worked right alongside us and it's just been amazing to work with them. And uh, I really think you all will like this software just as much as we do. Uh, it's incredibly stable and uh, it's just stupidly powerful. Uh, so it does have uh, two modes, a pro mode and a, and a free mode. The free mode will let you basically do the things in classic mode only. You don't get this advanced mode. Uh, there are a variety of other features too. For me, it was an easy purchase because I spend a lot of time doing supports. Uh, it'll differ for each person. Uh, if you're doing your own supports, even a little bit though, I feel like it's a no-brainer on the yearly cost. It's just cheap. I spend more on Mountain Dew every month. So, well, Pepsi now. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna assume you know how to import a, a model and all that basic stuff. It's just like importing any other kind of model. Um, just so you know what uh, the settings that I work with are, uh, my heavies are 0 0.35, the mediums are 0.25, lights are not set right, must have been messing around. Um, one of the things that's good to know about uh, Lychee is that it remembers what you did, um, and if you want it to, if you want this to be permanently your lights, so I've just set all those variables, I come over here to custom, and I just hit override preset light, and now it's, it'll set that. Um, as you can see, I'm running in alpha, so my settings sometimes change. Uh, base, let's make sure, yeah, yeah, see, this guy is not right, I gotta make sure I fix this. I definitely recommend going in uh, and changing the defaults to something similar to this. The join cone is absolutely a must, it makes a huge difference. Um, <clears throat> it just makes things all together more stable. Ooh, didn't mean to make it that thick. Um, Make sure everybody else is right. Yeah, we bumped this up to 0.75. And then, you know, this is just super nifty. The the software is everything is editable. Like basically every single element of the support is editable. There's the tip tip, the mid, and the base. There's global and then base tip. And you'll see me use all of these different variables throughout this one support. Um, and then unlike say Chitu Box, uh, this is just a quick easy thing to show you. So right now I just dropped a 0.35, but let's say I actually wanted that to be a 0.25 or a 0.2, or hell, I just wanted to move it up to a 0.71. Whatever you want, even when you've already got the support down, you can modify every variable you want and the software has no problem at all just redrawing the support. Uh, I absolutely love that. Makes my job way easier because like one of the things that will happen sometimes is like, you know, okay, so let's say I'm not really paying attention and I start throwing supports down. And I've got my supports, yada yada yada. Oh crap, I forgot to lift my model. Well, in the old days you were screwed, but now you just hit the up button and it redraws your supports for you. No problem at all. Hey, I'm not happy with the scale. I need my thing to be a little bit bigger. I need it to be a little bit smaller. Hey, check this out. Like, with the supports already on. Now, you know that you can do that in Chitu, but it'll, like, make them go away. But look at that. It just redrew them and didn't make them huge. It didn't, you know, it, like, that's what's beautiful. It just redraws the supports. Uh, and as long as you don't make the move too big, you know, you make it too big and it'll break it. Um, that one didn't, but, you know, and I don't have that many supports on here. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's crazy how powerful the software is. <clears throat> and, you know, that's just some of the easy stuff. Now, uh, it gets even better. It's got a built-in island detector. And as long as you go to pixel perfect mode, which is, a, uh, I said it and now I don't remember where. I believe picture perfect is in settings, preferences? Uh, oh cool, it's got a nice Cirx. Uh, not the pixel perfect. <clears> or <throat> oh, was I looking at the, yeah, hold on. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, 
Um, island detection. Yeah, you've got real, so you set it to real. You can do that in the main menu too, and that that's their pixel perfect, and it's just crazy, crazy accurate. Uh, we have found that it can basically replace the photon validator. Uh, you know, it's, you can just do it all within, and so you hit search at the start of your process, and you know you'll see here in a second. <clears throat> Actually, I need to change mine because I've got it set to 0.5. This is also what's nice, you know. It's super easy to change things. This is only because I haven't done presets yet. Again, I'm on an alpha version, and so my stuff changes more frequently. Um... So whatever you're uh, set to right here is what your islands will search. Um, and now the fun begins. So normally the way that we do model work is that you know you set your anchors and you you know you go from there but lychee in some ways kind of flips that on its head where it, you still set your anchors but at least for me anchors are also the beginnings of scaffoldings and you know a lot of supporting in i'm like why is this not working because i have my i use a g13 macro uh, you know, keyboard side key, gaming keyboard thing <laughs> uh, and it was set to the wrong thing and nothing was working so uh, you know everything is editable you see me switching back and forth between modes uh, where the support goes from orange to white so when you're in when the supports are orange you're in advanced mode and that's what makes these balls visible uh, and you can do all kinds of moving <clears throat> these let you scale them And you know you can move things around like that. Uh, Alt D will allow you to duplicate. Uh, when you're in advanced mode, you have to duplicate before you move. When you're in classic mode, if you you can duplicate after the fact, you know, you can hold and then duplicate, and wherever you pulled from is where it'll put it. Um, I don't mind moving in in. Um, that mode, but I prefer to move in advanced edit because the classic mode will basically let the computer decide exactly how to draw the support. And I like my supports tidier than the more organic uh, look. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, in that instance, like I let it sort of draw it, then I come back in and make it the way I like. And as you can see, it's just crazy how much control you have over the supports. Uh, and just like before, you know, you, uh, you'll see me clone a lot. <clears throat> now this little gizmo thing you see me using, it took it takes a little while to get used to it. It moves differently than your, you know, if you've, I've not, I never did any kind of 3D artwork or anything before I got into resin printing. And so I don't have any experience with those kind of gizmos, but uh, it's super powerful. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I lost it. Camera angle matters a lot. Uh, yeah, I don't like that actually. <clears throat> this is actually the second time I've done this model. The first time I did it, I didn't save. And uh, I actually printed the model. I just lost the print because, or, you know, I can't send out a pre-sliced file that's only good for my printer with my resin. Now what happened here is Heroes was trying to be really cool and make these teeth easier but still defined and what they ended up doing is they just made them touch too sharp and so their leading edges generate uh, an island now at 0.05 it's not gonna be too big a deal they'll fuse but you got to put some stuff in there 
0.02, you gotta put more stuff in there. That way you make sure it... See, and that right there is why I don't use the classic mode when I'm doing certain moves, because it'll... <clears throat> now what's happening there, the reason you saw that ball get giant, is that it tried to draw itself onto that support. But I think I got it cool. Now the other thing that you can do in these situations is if you hold ALT and control at the same time, you can draw a straight line support <clears throat> from any two points to any two points, which is super useful. Even to themselves. So, you know, I set that one and then I just kind of come in here and draw those back down. <clears throat> now, I don't want to do all of it that way because that'll mar things up, but a few of them may no big deal. Now the other thing you can do is, you know, so right now I'm holding the ALT button because I'm in advanced mode and normally, actually I'm in classic mode. So I come over here to advance, you notice I'm holding and I'm clicking and nothing happens, but if I hold the ALT button, uh, you can click and then click where you want, like that, and it'll do a hinge. If you uh, hold ALT and then control, uh, it'll draw a straight line, so it just kind of depends on what you want to do. In this case, I'm going to build right off that. <clears throat> and move it around. Now one of the things that you just really start to think about differently with support work is that like normally we would have to come out back from the build plate up and you know drop this but now I'm just building right off of existing supports. And so we'll set this one kind of like right here and then <clears throat> we'll come back over here, we'll go to light, and we're going to draw a whole bunch of supports as straight lines. Now sometimes it does that, and that's unfortunate when it does that. There we go. Now what's real nice is that in this classic mode, sometimes it's actually much better for cloning. If you're moving and doing the little individual supports like this, the straight line supports, it is, it is the way to clone, because look at how quickly I did that. Now, let's say that we don't like that and that's just a little bit too tight and we don't want it to form a giant uh, resin cone of doom. We can just come in, select these guys, and you can uh, select multiple things by holding the select button instead of the control button. And we'll just turn them into lights. Yeah, I selected all those guys and then I turned them all into lights. Oh, I missed, oh, no, that guy was selected. <clears throat> so they're all lights. Now, uh, let's say I want to go even lighter. Uh, turn those into 1.5s. Boom. All those now nice and set. We got one heavy that's back in the back of the mouth to hold things in place. And oh, let's say that's a little close, isn't it? Not a worry. Just lift it up and out of the way a little bit, and it redraws the supports. And that's just freaking lovely. Now, we've got all this stuff right here. Same thing, you know. Let's go to lights holding the alt button, draw down. Now that little wonky, but that's not a big deal because we can just go like this. Now, you, it is important to make sure you check and like rotate around. And this is where you can see I'm still not quite uh, versatile, but even with occasionally looking like I'm drunk, like right now, uh, I'm. it's been dramatically faster to do a variety of different kinds of supports. And again, like, okay, this is alright, this works, but this isn't super strong, that is stronger. And let's say we want to make this a little bit thinner. Because <clears throat> we're pretty high up now, we don't really need to be quite as thick, we're not holding as much weight. And now look at that, much thinner, and it remembers. So now when I clone that, I can just come off and come out, clone again, come off and come out. I didn't even have to come out if I didn't want to, I just want to make sure that I'm uh, given plenty of room to breathe. And for these guys, you know, 
we probably don't need a full support so we again hold alt and uh, control at the same time and and in this case I find it easier to dr uh, draw directly from the support now those guys are a little bit long for these straight line supports and straight line supports will work and they'll work over longer distances but sometimes they they like to fail especially if you're going too fast so you come here to base tip when you're selecting them and you can turn them into handy dandy little cones Cones of Doom, as I like to call them. And see what's really nice too is like when I select this support now every blue ball that I see is the blue ball that's associated with this support. When you know like this one right here there's two two supports here they both will have their own blue ball. If I want to touch that one I just you know you click anywhere and it'll let you know that's now editable and then I can grab the other one if I wanted. So like let's say now I wanted to bring this up cant it over and what's nice is it's still coming off the same blue ball back over here so these guys are still joined together and this gives me a better angle at all of these guys but I'm not even going to hit all of them just a few of them Now sometimes it will do weird stuff like that and it's just no biggie because you more or less are like, oh, okay, find your ball joint, bring it down. I highly recommend being very deliberate and slow in the beginning, um, especially if you have no real experience like me with uh, CAD software and moving and using these gizmos. Uh, you know, they're crazy powerful but until you get a, an intuitive sense for how to move them, it can be a little bit weird. Um, but see, now I've got this lovely little structure built right here. I'm gonna turn this guy into a cone. It's more stable. Then I stay in classic mode, and then I can just clone and copy. And then just like my old cloning, I can just hold and hit Alt-D, and it goes back. You drop, you pick it up, Alt-D, drop, pick it up, Alt-D, drop, pick it up, well, place it right, drop, pick it up, all D. And you notice what's real nice is when you're moving it around in classic mode like this, it, it wireframes the supports that are around you so it's easier to see. And even that one, like let's say, you know, that's not really gonna the ideal. We can just grab this bottom. Ah, oh, wait, no, this one we can't. Sometimes they do lock, so this one is stuck at that ball joint. But we can just go from here. Uh, Wrong mood. And start a new one. So, you know, this is what is just truly lovely. Now when it does that, you know, sometimes it'll, you know, redraw weird like that. You just, instead of drawing from the model to the support, you just draw from the support to the model. And that always seems to solve it. And as you can see, you can even make these little kinked supports right off of tiny other little supports. I mean, it's just crazy how much power you have to support. You basically can sculpt. You're sculpting the support structure. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, that's basically what's happening here. I gotta fix that. I got a bad join. But you notice, like, those are all connected, and it just, you know. When I moved that one, it redrew everything, didn't break anything, just to make a cleaner edge.
I mean, you can't tell me that's not awesome. You know, that's just holding alt, alt and click. All these guys up here, I'm literally gonna build, probably not from there, I'm gonna come over here, a little bit lower down. May even come all the way down here. Oh, something weird happened. There we go. What's nice is when you do have an oddity, all you gotta do is just kinda give it a second and uh, slowly, it's all about slow and deliberate, uh, use the uh, undo button or the undo uh, command, which is either uh, undo it, you know, undo, you can do it manually up here or you notice it tells you the command is control Z or uh, whatever it happens to be on uh, Mac. Now you notice like right now I just kind of randomly dropped one there and all I'm doing is taking this structure and moving it further up. Now this isn't necessarily the strongest structure, but that's not a big deal because again just you go into classic mode, you hold the alt button and you wait until you see something like that and you just double click. Now I've got an anchor there. Now I can do the same thing here and just bring it straight down. Now that is quite strong. And what it lets me do off of here too is now I can build like let's say I want to come up and around. You know, and now I've come up and around, I'm kind of basically hugging the model and I can lock back in, hit that thing. I mean, this is just crazy. I can build another one off of here so that now I can take care of those supports. And I mean, you can get really wild that you can actually come back up and around and now cover it from there. and then come up and if you know I'm gonna need to anchor that probably a little bit better but I mean look at that that's one support tree this one this one tree with some you know obviously with some buttressing is going to cover is going to use I'm going to use this to basically cover this entire model because now I'm also uh, and this is something you, you know with great power comes great responsibility you notice how I'm clipping here you have to be mindful of those things because it will absolutely let you it'll let you clip it has no problem letting you clip it'll assume that's what you wanted and that's what I want I want my software to let me do things that is that are wrong it's like that's how you learn <laughs> if the software is constantly babying you uh, you'll never learn how to do it <clears throat> all right now you notice that uh, I'm targeted on this one and when I go into advanced edit mode it wireframes that and that's letting you know that these two things are linked if I move this it's gonna redraw that I come all the way over to here notice how it redrew I go back to a uh, classic and we can see the you know the result <clears throat> It also will let you make things that generate islands. It'll let you do things that won't physically print. So if you were using this advanced mode to draw your own supports, you really need to know what you're doing. Or you need to accept that you're going to have some failure in the beginning, either from um, causing model fusions without meaning to because you didn't notice that you were uh, clipping in. Um, or... Uh, you know, some other reason, like, you know, you, you're generating islands uh, because the angle is too flat. Or you've created a structure that is actually got too big of a cross-sectional area and is going to cause, uh, and is going to fail due to suction. Um, yeah, that's going to be too far. I'm being greedy. I was thinking I might, I might, let's see, can I... 
What's that look like? Yeah, yeah see, like right now, that. Well, that's a maybe. That's a solid maybe. Never be afraid to just push the needle to 11. Make sure you test print before you send it out, but never be afraid to push it to 11. Yeah, I think that'll work actually. Make sure I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to fuse over there. We'll come up and over and yeah. And we actually cover an island with it. And then now this is where it'll get mildly absurd. We will go ahead and anchor it. Oof, you know, I don't like that. I'm going to delete that. Now the reason I don't like that is one of the things that you have to be cognizant of, and I learned about this a whole lot more when I first started doing the floating uh, support structures in Chitu, is not to tie your model in. And that, because I anchored it down, would tie the model in with how wide this base is and you'd have to clip it. Now you can get some really interesting things where you, uh, where like it opens up like a can almost. Um, But that's just not possible with that particular orientation. <clears throat> but see, now that I've got this thing set here, and let's see here, this is, fuck it, there we go. Yeah, I wanted them as heavy as they weren't set to heavy. I had a feeling. But like, you know, that's way too close. And trying to get that in there would be a little difficult. So I can just take this tip length and push it out a little bit. because I want to give those fingers room to breathe. And I want to be able to go like this and pick up Oh, that loveliness. Turn that into a light. Boom. You want to talk about, like, amazingness for doing fingers and hands and dangly bits like yeah yeah that's gonna print that's not gonna have any problem printing at all and it'll remove super easily You know, see, you know, it was all sorts of wonky, and all I needed to do was just shrink a variable a little bit, and that makes it a little more. It makes it easier to navigate <clears throat> when you have your. Uh, woo! Now, sometimes weird stuff happens, and when it does, you basically just have to. What happened there, boss? This will be a glitch to send to them. Now one thing that's super awesome about these guys is they are very responsive. I don't know what happened there, man. It looks like somehow my whole model jumped. But this is kind of how it goes when you're using the advanced edit mode, or not the advanced edit mode, the alpha mode, like weird stuff happens. You're like, hey, I'll send him the video and be like, I have no idea what happened. But like, we, we begged and pleaded for features from other developers, and they just, it was like we didn't exist. Um, and Lychee has just been the exact polar opposite. <clears throat> And as far as I'm concerned, like, that matters a lot. Uh, I've been a gamer my whole life. I'm used to developers who don't pay attention. And I just generally don't buy their products. But in this space, up until literally now, we haven't really had a choice. Like, if you were... If you were doing manual supports, there was no choice before this, really. And now we have not just choice, but 
something that is just demonstrably in every sense of the word better. Which is not in any way to diminish what was, you know, done before. Um, but this is better. All right. So if you haven't figured it out, I absolutely pause this recording every now and then, uh, just so I can uh, not make you have to watch crap you don't need to see, like loading islands again. All right. <clears throat> Sometimes you gotta do weird moves to get it to do what you want it to do. When you're doing weird stuff like that, that doesn't make sense. I don't know why I decided to do that. Change a plan. You know, so I can arbitrarily thicken only the base and leave that part up there completely unthickened so that I'm nice and thick all the way up till I get to right there. That is some serious power right there. Same thing here. Arbitrary thickness and thinning. That was a specific request of ours and they delivered it in one feature update. I begged for months for other features from other companies and these guys just boom. <clears throat> Listening to users matters a lot to me when it comes to paying for software, and I will pay for software. And Lychee has just been amazing with us so far.
And these are the useful things right here. So we're going to just alt, uh, alt and control and just draw back, alt and control and draw back. And this will seal it and stop it. Again, as you saw with the, uh, the gizmo movement, it's really important to be slow and deliberate. <laughs> You'll get more done quickly uh, than trying to move quickly. You know, even when it doesn't draw it just right, it ain't nothing but a thing. It's just a matter of slowly and deliberately putting it where you want it. <clears throat> You know, as you can see, I mean, this is just not at all how you normally build supports. And so when you first switch over, it's gonna feel different, because it is different. But the power that you have to get to wherever you need to get, it just literally doesn't matter anymore. Artists can do whatever they want to do, and people who are doing supports for them won't have to fight it. It will be so much easier. It's going to it's going to be amazing what we're going to be able to do. See how I just drew that up in the way? I was a little afraid that that was just too close and nothing but a thing. Lift up and away a little bit, redraws all of those supports, pulling it away from the model, giving it a little room to breathe. I mean, come on, think about that. Any other software, you'd have had to replace every single one of them supports. Oh, and basically it looks like all I have left now is the anchoring stuff on the bottom. Now look at that. All of this support work, everything that's all up here, and how little I actually have that goes back down to the build plate. Little red dots let you know where your islands are, and again, it's just absurdly good. We basically only use the validator now to make sure we didn't generate islands with the uh, the crazy support work. 
And I mean, this is also me playing. I'm I'm literally having fun because this is the second time I've done the model, so I had to I had to have fun. Otherwise, I just couldn't do it, man. I actually think, ooh, ooh. Now, one thing you do got to be careful with is like placing supports and deleting supports is if you delete something that has a bunch of other shit connected to it uh, that can be problematic decided we would do this differently after having done it ooh yeah see like that I just deleted everything by accident because that one support was everything, but you just gotta hit Control Z once. Ooh, okay. Let's re. <clears throat> and see, everything comes back. You just have to be slow and deliberate every now and then you know now also I'm running on an alpha so things will be more stable uh, for others but slow and deliberate slow and deliberate is your friend and I'm gonna have to run the island check again because I deleted the model But in the interim, since I know that this is going to generate them, I'm just going to get them. Ooh. One of the things that's also really important is that anytime you click off the model, or anytime you want to change, you know, to a new support. Um, oh, this is another one of those moments. Okay, so I am actually too low. I've driven all of those supports. We've all been there. We thought we were high enough up, and we weren't. But with this, it's no big deal because you just hit the up button, and up it goes. <laughs> Redraws all the supports. Doesn't break anything. You've been there, you have accidentally not set your model high enough and then had to redo all of your support work. No more. Now what you just saw me do there, mass highlighting, and, and think about that. Think about how much of a pain that is in other software, and how most of it won't actually change, and how it will only change one variable, and that just leaned everything right up and in, and it was all one click. You know, I mass select, and then I selected the, uh, you know, just hit, uh, I was, all I was looking to do was just shorten the tip length, so I just clicked my heavy pre-support tab, and it made sure every single one of them had the exact same tip length. And to keep things right, it leaned them, you know, created that ball joint there, which is just beautiful.
got some islands that I know are not real. These are just generating. Some of them I'm going to get anyways because I want to make sure to seal stuff in. And we are done.